Sri Aurobindo's teaching and religion. Many people say that the teaching of Sri Aurobindo is a new religion. Would you say that it is a religion? People who say that are fools who don't even know what they are talking about. You only have to read all that Sri Aurobindo has written to know that it is impossible to base a religion on his works because he presents each problem, each question in all its aspects, showing the truth contained in each way of seeing things and he explains that in order to attain the truth, you must realize a synthesis which goes beyond all mental notions and emerge into a transcendence beyond thought. I repeat that when we speak of Sri Aurobindo, there can be no question of a teaching, not even of a revelation, but of an action from the Supreme. No religion can be founded on that. But men are so foolish that they can change anything into a religion. So great is their need of a fixed framework for their narrow thought and limited action. They do not feel secure unless they can assert this is true and that is not but such an assertion becomes impossible for anyone who has read and understood what Sri Aurobindo has written. Religion and yoga do not belong to the same plane of being, and spiritual life can exist in all its purity only when it is free from all mental dogma. Om Satyam Yanam Jyotir Aravind Om Satyam Yanam Jyotir Aravind Om Satyam Yanam Jyotir Aravind Om Satyam Yanam 